Hello and welcome to another episode of the Scottish Football Show here on Let's Talk Sports. Me, Joe Stanley again, and we're back to talk about another eventful week of Scottish football action. Forgive me whilst I just adjust the camera here. Yeah, it was another exciting edition last weekend when Stephen Naismith, as I mentioned last week, took charge of Hearts for the first time and We'll get touching on to that, but yeah, the relegation battle in the Scottish Premiership has heated up with Dundee United getting another victory last weekend and Ross County and come on getting dragged right into that battle. But let's have a look now at this weekend and the and the table going into it and the fixtures. We'll go into the fixtures first going to this weekend and it starts off in the Scottish Premier League on Saturday Hearts versus Ross County 12.30 kickoff. yes Hearts suffered a defeat last week to Hibernian and Ross County aren't on great form either and at the moment they find themselves bottom of the table after the defeat last Friday to Aberdeen 10 man Aberdeen 1-0 at home it's not looking good form for these sides at the moment and it's going to be a tight battle between Ross County who are currently bottom, Kilmarnock who are currently at the second bottom and Dundee United who have come from bottom to tenth in the league. It's going to be a big battle between those sides to decide who goes that's relegated and who goes into that relegation playoff in the Scottish Premier League and this is before we go into that split as well this season. Um, with this being match day 33 or 33 of the regular season before that split that we have in May where we have a couple of games against the other opposition in the league but yeah looking at that list so Hearts versus Ross County in that one I think it's going to be with both sides losing previously um, obviously Hearts not doing well losing the derby last week they need a big result and they need to to get that to winning ways to get themselves back up that table. I do think Hearts will will win this one myself personally and uh, get themselves back to winning ways. St Johnston Hibernian. Well last time out St Johnston found themselves on the wrong end of a 2-0 defeat to Livingston whereas obviously as I just mentioned Hibernian won their first derby in I think it was I might be wrong off the top of my head but I think it's about seven years since they won the derby and they obviously beat and uh, beat Hearts last week, thanks to a goal by Kevin Nisbet to get themselves a derby victory. And obviously, it's, it's very important and for for Hibernian that they can get as many points on the board as they can to push up that table. They're currently sat in sixth place, forty-three points. One point behind St Mirren and two points behind their city rivals, Hearts. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one in that one between St Johnston and Hibernian. Something tells me that Hibernian are going to nick kind of a win. They seem to have just got the right amount of form at the right time. And they're pushing as high as they can up that table, trying to sneak into those European places. I'm going to go for a cheeky 1-0 win for Hibs again. I think they'll grind out a result and plunge St Johnston towards bottom half of that table again. Another three o'clock kickoff. St Mirren versus Kilmarnock between those two sides. Another t another side in the bottom uh, towards the bottom of the table should I say sorry and another side trying to push towards the top half, top four in Scottish League with St Mirren in the fifth. If we're looking at, at last week St Mirren lost five two in a battle against Rangers at Ibrox. Todd Campbell gave Rangers the lead before O'Hara equalised on the stroke of half, half time. So he just a couple of minutes into the second half, gave Rangers the lead again. St. Mary equalised again before Morelos got a double and Arfield scored to end St. Mary's hopes of getting something from the game. But it was a spirited battle between the two sides. In Ibox, and to be fair, if we have a, a look at the statistics from this game between Rangers and St Mirren, okay, Rangers had a lot more shots than St Mirren 23 to 5, and they had 11 on target to St Mirren's 4. So, I mean, St Mirren only had one shot off target though, so they weren't 
yeah, and it's got two goals. So they're quite clinical in terms of shots. Just didn't fit as many as the old firm outfit. Uh, possession Rangers dominated that seventy nine percent to twenty one percent. The passing accuracy eighty nine to fifty seven. More fouls committed by St. Moon, obviously, depending on the lives, but they had less cards there. Rangers, and obviously, more offsides in that one as well. I think it's certainly going to be an interesting uh, game between the, the sides, especially with Kilmarnock in that 11th place of the relegation playoff and succumbing to a defeat, 4 and defeat to Celtic, the other old firm club. So it's interesting that both sides played the old firm last week. Kyogo Foyhashi on the target for range uh, for Celtic, sorry, <laughs> forgive me for that. Kyogo Foyhashi on target for Celtic. Then Dyson, Maeda, and Matu Marali double had Celtic in cruise control 4 0 up before Liam Donnelly scored on the stroke of half time and no goals in the second half as Celtic cruised to victory and 16 shots to Celtic. Come out 14, so it wasn't like they were massively dominant Celtic, uh, despite the possession being 77 in Celtic's favour to 23 to Kilmarnock. But in terms of shots, it was 14 for Kilmarnock, 16 for Celtic, 5 on target for Kilmarnock, 6 on target for Celtic. So it seems to be that Kilmarnock were better with their chances, you know, more on target, should I say, than uh, Celtic. Not that there's much in it, to, to be honest. Uh, and at the end of the day, I think you can see the fact that they're not taking their chances is why they're in the situation that they're in at the moment towards the foot of that Scottish Premiership table. At the other uh, three, there's two more three o'clock kickoffs, and then obviously Sunday it's Rangers Aberdeen. But yes, going at another three o'clock kickoff. Dundee United in that relegation battle as well. They were bottom of the league until last weekend where they pulled off another victory to get themselves out of the, off the bottom, sorry, and up to 10th, surprisingly. And, but they're playing Livingston. And Livingston got that win over St. Johnson last weekend and they've been in fairly good form to Livingston themselves. Beating St. Johnston 2-0, three goals from Joel Newell and Stephen Kelly, which cost... St. Johnston manager is job there. Yeah, so St. Johnston are now managerless. I feel really, really harsh on uh, Colin Davidson because obviously he's recently been uh, recently been sacked. And become the eighth was to depart the league this season. I can't think because he's the manager that won them a, a cup double a couple of years back. I think it was during the COVID season, I remember. Really. And obviously, he's not, uh, he's now lost his job and become the eighth manager to be sat seven days on from Robbie Nielsen, who was sat at Hearts. And I don't know, I just feel a bit, a bit harsh. Uh, I know they're a bit towards the bottom end of the table. I know they're only. But ninth in the table, so yeah, it's not ideal. Could get dragged into the relegation battle just yet, but I don't know. I still think it's a little bit harsh with everything that he's done for the club there, St Johnston. Uh, when you look at Dundee United last weekend, Motherwell, I expected a Motherwell victory in this one, a tight game. Uh, I, I, I certainly didn't expect Dundee United to win it anyway, let's put it that way. In. When Motherwell took the league, Kevin, through Kevin Van Veen, it, it looked like it was going to be Motherwell's day. But the Ilamari, Nizaki Kenen, sorry, and Jamie McGrath scoring a late penalty coolly to get Dundee United that victory and bring them out of that relegation place, above the relegation playoff place as well, and into 10th place at the table. It's certainly interesting. Looking at the last game on Saturday at 3 o'clock, so there's no late kick-off on the Saturday. It's Celtic versus Motherwell. Celtic miles out in front at the top of the Scottish Premier League. 4-1 victory last time out. 12 points clear at the top. Motherwell obviously succumbed to defeat last time. Not 
in the greatest of forms at the moment. The eighth in the table. I just don't think they'll get dragged into that relegation battle. But they're only eight points above Kilmarnock in eleventh and nine points above Ross County at the bottom. I don't think they'll get dragged into it. I think it's too late in the day for that one. But I don't know, I just can't see anything apart from the Celtic victory. So I'm going to go in the Dundee, living so much. So I don't think I gave a prediction. I'm going to go for the draw in that 1 1 draw. Celtic 4 0 win over Motherwell. And then we're going to look at the last Scottish Premier League game of the weekend. It's Aberdeen versus Rangers on Sunday at 4 30 kickoff. And it's going to be an interesting one, this one, especially with last time out. Aberdeen's nicking a narrow 1 0 win away to Ross County, who are now bottom of the table, and Rangers 5 2 winners at St. Moon. Defensively, they're not the most solid Rangers, but if you're looking at that the table, it's second versus third. Aberdeen have won their last five, Rangers have won four of their last five, losing to Celtic a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, I haven't. I think it's going to be, they've got a fairly decent record, if, if memory says we rightly ranges, against Aberdeen this season. It's going to be a tough game between the two, battling it out for those positions. I think something tells me that it's going to have a draw on this one. I'm going to go for a 2 all draw between Aberdeen and Rangers. I think both sides battling it out. We're both fast, expansive attacking football. So, yeah, I'm going to go 2 all draw in that one, which will... See Celtic extend their lead to 14 points at the top of the Scottish Premier League table. If we look at the table as it is, before we jump into the Championship and have a look at their games and fixtures, Ross County bottom, look at that, not great, is it? 27 points. Kilmarnock, second bottom, 28 points in that relegation playoff spot. It's going to be interesting to see which team finishes bottom for the end of the weekend and the end of the season. Dundee United, 28 points. Goal difference keeping them out of that relegation spot. Then you've got St. Johnson with 32 points. Motherwell, 36. Big jump and gap between them and Livingston on 42. Then there's Hibs with 43. St. Mirren, 44 points. And Hearts, 45. So really anyone from can finish between 7th and 4th are those four clubs. For Aberdeen in 3rd with 4. With 50 points, so 5 points above 4 place hearts as things stand. Rangers on 79 points, is out on front on 91 points. Title race done and dusted. Not mathematically over yet, but let's be honest, it's done and dusted pretty much. The relegation battle, it's going to be a tough one. I think as the season goes on, looking at the fact that Dundee United have got that two wins of the bounce, the competency is behind with them at the moment. So uh, I know two weeks ago I was saying that they're done and it's over. But really, I think it's Ross County that are looking like the more in trouble, judging by the recent run of forms. And when they've got players like Sims and Yandanda in their squad, you'd expect them to do better. Same with Kilmarnock with Jordan Jones from Rangers. And Dundee United, Stephen Fletcher seems to have been an experienced forward, dragging them forward and uh, towards results at the moment as well. He didn't score last week, but he did score the previous week as for them. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see happens there onto the Scottish Championship looking at their fixtures. We've got Air versus Queen's Park, Inverness versus Dundee United. And on to the United so Dundee FC, apologies there, Dundee fans. We've got Dundee United on the brain. Uh Barrett Morton versus Party Thistle. Greenock Morton versus Rafe Rovers. And our uh, Brof versus Cove all on the uh so the Air uh, versus Queen's Park on the Friday, kicking off at 7.45, and then the other four games are all on the Saturday, 3 o'clock kickoffs. If we are uh, looking at, at this one, looking at the table going into it, Dundee United are top with 58 points, one point ahead of Queen's Park, who are on 57. Inverness, Caledonia and Thistle have 54 points. It'd be good to see them back in the Scottish Premier League soon. Hopefully they can get back up there in one of the next two seasons. They're two points ahead of Partick Thistle, who have a game in hand on them. So Partick Thistle could jump above them. Air aren't out of it either with 51 points. They're seven points behind Dundee United, but they can still sneak up to third place, depending on how the results go for Inverse Caledonia Thistle and Partick Thistle. Uh, looking at the bottom of the table, we've got Cove Rangers, who are rock bottom 10th there with 27 points. 
uh, uh, Hamilton, who were in the Premier League not a few years back, down the second bottom with 29 points, and then obviously Arbro 33 points, Rayford is 42, and Greenock Martin, as I mentioned, 6 with 48 points. It's going to be fascinating looking at this this one. You look at the previous weekend, at the results there on match days. Well, yeah, you're looking at the match day matches going on for the previous club. So, Queen's Park beat Hamilton 1 0 on the Friday. Rafe Rovers beat our Brof. Adrew, uh, sorry, Ronald R. Brof on the Saturday. Kilmarnock beat Co Rangers 2 1 away from home on the Saturday. Partick and Airdrew 1 0 and Dundee United drew 3 0 with Greenock Morton, which is something I did not expect. And then there was another game. On the Tuesday evening between Inverness, Caledonia, Pistol and Hamilton, Inverness winning 2-1 away to, to Hamilton in that game. Before we look at this weekend's fixtures. So you've got Air versus Queen Park. I'm going to go for a Queen Park victory in that one. Inverness, Caledonia, Pistol and Dundee. I'm going to go for a draw in that one between the two sides. I think Inverness in third place need to try and keep in touch and distance and Dundee just keep ticking over as things stand. So we will see a change at the top of the Scottish Championship. Hamilton versus Partick Thistle. I think Partick Thistle will get the win there over stuttering Hamilton side. Although, like I said, they did get the victory. No, they didn't say they did suffer another defeat sorry, on Tuesday night. So yeah, they have been playing teams in the top three. We're not Martin and Rafe Rovers. I'm going to go for a draw in that one. And Arbro and Cove. I think Arbro will beat Cove Rangers, who are rooted to the bottom of that table. And it's not looking good for the sides there. I'm going to finish off as well by having a quick look at the table. I will get the table up on the Scottish Championship, and then we'll finish off by looking at the Scottish. She's women's Premier League. So yeah, obviously here's the table there for you in the Scottish Championship. Which I'll just sort out for you because for some reason the points tally is missing off that page and that's just really incredibly frustrating. Anyway, as you can see, Dundee top anyway, so it doesn't really matter about the points there. Forgive my error. And you look at the Scottish Women's Premier League players as well. We've got a few fixtures at the weekend and in the midweek as well, so that's why I haven't gone into predicting their, their matches. But you're looking, they've already split into Group A and Group B in their table. So bottom of Group B is Glasgow Girls. We've um, haven't got a single point. Then you've got Hamilton with 16, Aberdeen with 21 points, along with Dundee United. Spartans have 33 points and out on top of Group B. So in the split, in Motherwell, with 38 points in Group B of their Scottish Women's Premier League. So obviously like mid-table-ish there. In Group A, you've got part of Fistel Bottom, 31 points. Then you've got Hibernian, fifth with 32. Hearts in fourth with 43 points. Then it's this is where it gets interesting. Three Glasgow t clubs in the top three. You've got Rangers with 62 points in third. Celtic uh, with 63 points in second. That draw the other week in the Old Firm Derby where they scored. Both goals were goalkeeping errors. Rangers took the lead through goalkeeping error. And in the second half, Celtic scored in added time to get a point to keep that one point advantage. And then Glasgow City out in front. The team that play in orange. With 68 points in the Women's Premier League. And they're looking like they're going to get the title once more. So thank you for everyone for watching this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more football content. And obviously let us know your predictions below. And we'll see you all on Let's Talk Sport very soon.